welcome back to the Viper Miner channel. Today we're going to start uh, a series of videos and they're going to go down one path, kind of split based on your experience and then come back together um, at the end. And so I want to start out with a discussion. Disclaimer, this is not financial advice. This is how I do my day. Yes, I work from home, trade from home, invest from home, and that's what I do for a living, okay? However, you might be able to learn something from me or have the right questions, then they will ask your professional broker to better understand what he's talking about, he or she's talking about, and from there. So what I'm going to do is they're, they're going to be chopped up in different um, segments. This first video is strictly what do I do first thing in the morning? Okay, besides drinking my coffee. Got to have coffee. Two cups minimum. Um, so what do I do first to prep for my day? And to be honest with you, that prep actually starts the night before because I actually do some looking at the overseas markets ahead of time okay um but i want to get this out and because i want to get at least the first couple of these set to go uh, we have a hurricane coming barreling down on us it's uh september 26 uh it's supposed to be here tuesday night tomorrow night through all day wednesday so i don't know if we'll have power i mean i have a whole house generator but that doesn't mean i want to run all this uh because i don't know how long power would be out hopefully no power out. Um, but, uh, and if you live in Florida, uh, please be safe, uh, especially if you're in Tampa. All right. Um, so this first video is strictly, it's for everybody. It's how I start my day out. Okay. How do I go find that next coin? Where to point my GPUs and my A6? And what, what kind of, what am I looking for to, that's going to drive the market? Okay. So, so I literally start out with CNBC because I, I got my start trading options, stocks, futures, Forex, and then I moved into crypto, okay? So the first thing I want to do, so it, it is four, four o'clock, I sorry, but I had to spend, and I'm still freaking hot after a hot shower. Um, I had to spend the day trimming trees and everything to make sure uh, my recycle and my tree stuff gets picked up before the storm tomorrow morning. Um, so normally in the morning, it starts with this tab. This tab would actually be over here, and this U.S. tab would be where the pre-market is. Uh, it is live, the pre-market. It's, it's the actual futures. Uh, but you would see the future market and where the futures are going. So... We would start on the futures market, look here, and it's been down all day. So it was red when I looked this morning. And then I kind of make my way across. Okay, so Asia, and that's where I said I kind of prep my, I start my prep at night before I go to bed because Asia's open, right? China, Japan, Taiwan, all of them. So I would look at, let's see what they're going. If they're negative, like, I mean, so their markets are closed, so you know some numbers aren't moving as last as of uh, 408, uh, their time here, right? If these guys were significantly green, higher, then even if we had some bad data out, that would kind of question us a little bit. This kind of helps, helps or hinders us, depending on how we're going, okay? Um, and that kind of helps and hinders what the futures are showing, okay? Then I'd look at Europe, because now Europe will start trading before us, a couple hours before us, and they actually close a couple hours after, uh, I mean, before us. This is uh, kind of telltelling what's going on. So they have, so there's mixed markets in Europe right now, right? So German, uh, you got the FTSE here. So they're they're actually up. The Fox 35 weather update has and I, and I apologize, I do have the weather updates on my phone because the, it's just, Getting to be crazy over here. And then I'd want to look at bonds. Typically, 
the stock market's inverse of the bonds. We got a big up day in bonds. You know, stock market's down. That is a typical pattern. Okay, nothing's ever guaranteed. Uh, and then I do look at commodities real quick because commodities do drive the economy. Um, I can go on a total rant on how I think interest rate raising interest rates is not going to help the United States in its fight for inflation. Um, it, it's here. It's it's in the uh, energy space that we need to combat first. That's where it started. That's where it needs to. That's where we need to start the fix. Anyway, and then gold is very important um, because gold, gold and silver for somewhat is typically a safe haven play. I'm here and I look at crypto, and what I actually do is I. Come on, my mouse is not working. I actually go into crypto and I kind of look to see, I kind of bring that up and I look to see uh, overall, where are we with the different uh, exchanges and what we're looking at. So now this is, uh, this is what's very interesting now. Okay. So Litecoin, USD, Coinbase. So that's where they're pulling that price from. Uh, they don't have it. Other site, I'll, I'll have to drop a couple links for some sites to look at for crypto. There are more and more ETFs coming out for crypto, okay? And they, we're starting to look into exchanges where they can start doing more and more futures. So as that happens, the futures markets and the stock market will have more of an impact on crypto, okay? So just keep that in mind okay so if you look here bitcoin bitcoin usd coin matrix so this is this is futures okay um there's, there's more and more futures coming in for crypto it's good because it's more acceptance then right and I, I understand you don't want regulations and you want DeFi, but I mean, Bitcoin will always be what it is, I think. I don't think Bitcoin will have. I, I, and I, I do have mixed feelings, too, because there's some rumors about them maybe expanding the cap and how much coins it would be out there. Um, but we also shoot ourselves in the foot, right? Look at ETH. ETH was considered DeFi and was decentralized and a non-security. Non Okay, it was not considered a security, but a security exchange. All right, so that's kind of how I, I look at stuff. Um, I also have, and then CBC is free uh, for the most part. There, there's like two little paid sections. There's the Kramer uh, Charitable Trust uh, portfolio in here. Uh, I have mixed feelings about that. And then I do subscribe to CNBC Pro. Um, I'm not going to log in and show you because one it'll de it'll dox me but also um you'll see my profile and i don't i i don't i have no problem sharing information with you guys i just don't want you just to cookie cutter what i got because you need to do your own um research and figure out your own risk talents okay so my my risk talents and your risk talents and needs are two different things okay so um the next thing I do is I start looking for some news, right? I want to know what's going out in the market, okay? Um, and I wish I could just move the camera. So I, I literally have a 43-inch screen, a 43-inch screen, 32, 32, 32, 32, okay? Um, I want to I, – I, so like this video is normally – already uh, detached and on a screen with just all videos including the CNBC video and a couple others and once you go into uh, CNBC Pro there's other live feeds as well so there's um, I have different live feeds going sounds always down unless I'm listening to one but I want to see what's going on all right so 
this is an interesting headline just off the bat. I mean, it has nothing to do with price movement, but it shows adoption of Bitcoin, right? If so, universities are going to start teaching blockchain. That's fantastic. Uh, so anyway, I'll go through here and I'll look for what's going on. And then I will look, you know, not just in market for, so like Bitcoin, you know, let's see what's going on in Bitcoin because that's the OG. And then at the same time, I'll... I have a couple of these brought to my email and then a couple of these. Wow, my computer's really slow today. I'll just kind of see what they got going on here. Uh, I don't necessarily want to clog my email with everything. But uh, I do like some going to my inbox because if I'm away from my desk or out and about, I can catch up on some news as well. And then lately, I've been so I use Market Watch a lot for stocks and options, okay. But lately, it's been really good for um, crypto as well. There's been some really good articles in here, and so what what happens in some of these areas, like when you're talking about the money supply and gold, because they'll have commodity articles in here. It's really a good, good place to grab that little bit of a nugget that mm, I didn't look at that from this standpoint. So there's going to be people coming out or coming in to a cryptocurrency that you might want to maybe mine ahead of time, right? Okay. So, and then I, you know, I look at all of them. I look at uh, Crypto Slate, and then I'll look at uh, Coin Telegram. And so, like, th this was one of the first ones I clicked on. I mean, right away, GPU price is dropping, right? Uh, what's going on? I mean, I know what's going on, but I mean, why, why, is, why is it so important to put a headline page about GPU pricing when we all know that, right? So I w I w I'm curious to see what's going on. Um, so I'll, I'll do that. And then... I think I mentioned in the last video, I actually have a website I'm starting to make. Uh, the only problem is, is that I have to put my hard code IP and address in it right now for to find it. And I want to, I, I don't, that's my main IP address. I don't want to dox that. Uh, but I'm almost done with it. And it will have this next step that I do. So I do look at CoinGecko also through here because they weighed it really nice. And like on the CMBC, I don't have the CMBC thing up, uh, but on the, on the CMBC, when you look at all the coins, it's all by different markets, uh, different exchanges all, all at the same time. Um, these guys usually use uh, Gate.io, or if they, it's not on a Gate.io, it's on some, it's on a one. So it's usually one location. So you kind of, it's one price. I mean, you can shop around for price, but it gives you one, one focused idea of what price is looking at. So I will look here and then I may, um, they do sometimes have uh, some interesting trending coins. So I'll take a look at that. Um, I am not real big in a NFTs. Call me old school. I just, I don't understand the value. So if I make it, if, if I buy an NFT, I got it on my screen, where I can look at any NFT on the blockchain, I can screenshot that. I've got it. I mean, I don't understand it. So I I know there's there's a lot of money there. So I'm actually going to start looking into it. Um, I got a couple of books on order. So, um, and then my last go-to here is before I start my day and figure out where I'm going to go. I am throwing a freaking... Wow, you can tell I got the hurricane on my mind. All right, so minor stats, coins, you go there. And I've talked about this in other videos, but again, it's kind of nice. Uh, trending last seven days. What's up, what's going, what's going on? The top coins by the pools and then market cap, right? So we all know, we pretty much know what the market cap is, but it's nice to see the market cap amongst the smaller group of coins because you know etc was down here xmr was down here 
it's all it's all changing now, right? Um, but what we're really in here for it. So let's. So today, Ergo. Uh, well, actually, it was yesterday. They hit the epoch, so their difficulty level went down, and. If you go to difficulty here, you can see it actually it drastically dropped. Now, this always looks, I mean, it's the new norm, right? I don't know if we're ever going to come down to any of the coins down to pre-merge. Uh, uh, but so I've been doing three day and then you can take these little sliders here and I move it out a couple days before the merge. So you can see how we actually dropped a little bit here and I think that was because a lot of people start looking for other coins to merge or not to mine and not only that but as I a lot of people were encouraging others a lot of youtubers were encouraging others to figure out their overclocks figure out their flight sheets and in their wallets and everything else so like even during this time I I had rigs on ergo right I was trying to I was trying to grab as much different coins a little bit of everything um, in case there was a moonshot, yeah, you never know. So, because the difficulty was up over here, and then I think it, people came off of it and went somewhere else, and then difficulty came down. And the problem with Ergo, and I th the reason I think Ergo is broken, and I love Ergo, I, I like their for the miners, and they're, they say they're going to say proof of work and everything, but they got to fix how fast their difficulty uh, adjusts. So, because we had a network hash rate that spiked. Right? And it's been trying to it's been trying to come down. But the problem with that is so it spiked it, it's come down, but then we kinda bubbled out here, flattened out here because people are no longer trying to mine on Ergo. And what because it's broken, so the block to get to the next epoch for it to change the difficulty is taking forever. So what you see now is this difficulty level that stair steps, right? So it's it's always correcting from behind. So I guess on the way up, it gives you an extra day and a half to two days to be able to still mine at that difficulty level, but then when it's topped out, it takes forever to come back down. And the problem with that is, is, so this is not profitable for anybody, so no one's mining it. So it takes even longer, right? That's why it's taking days to come down instead of a day, a day and a half. So Ergo still, I don't think it's profitable at all. So I look I look here and then I, and I grab my coins that, that I've, and you can see what coins I'm looking at, right? So, flux, and I don't typically look at network hash rate. That's really not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about what the difficulty level is. And you can see Ergo's is, or flux is coming down. They're all starting to come down a little bit because I think people are turning off the rigs. And so, flux has been in this uh, sideways pattern up down up down so I can even you can even see that a little bit on the network hash rate right so I think what's happening is is that you're seeing the difficulty level come down and then people come onto it and then it, the difficulty level adjusts up and then people come off of it right so people are chasing profit right so I think that's why you you're seeing this pattern and so you're seeing this horizontal pattern going across so I think that's uh, what you're seeing there so then and you can do Caspa you can do Nex Nexa they're all on here which is really nice right so you're just gonna see what the difficulty levels and then with that in mind and then what I do is I compare that with what's to mine so we're gonna use our uh, we're so for these videos we're gonna always use our eight rig, eight card, three seventy rig, and then we're going to use Think or Swim, but I'm going to use Paper Money, which is still real time, which is really nice. It's one of the few brokers that do that. And what happened then is, is that 
we're gonna build a little portfolio together together and then kind of track stuff and you'll see how I track and what what we do and again this is not financial advice this is strictly what I do every morning all right so I'm gonna hit calculate and I put even though mine's a lot less I did put 14 cents in here because I think that's the national average right now so today September 26 455 you can see Nexa we're in Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin showed up on the crypto tab on CNBC, which is interesting. Casp, Raven, Flux is down here. Now, Flux was this morning was number one. And I don't count nice hash. I'm not using nice hash. Nice hash don't want double fees. Uh, so that's always taken out, and I'll look through. And then, so that's why I'll kind of play that. I am, as I stated in another video, I am paying my own electric out of my own pocket. I sold a bunch of coins. It's in USDT, which is using FX. And I'll leave a net, uh, link for FX US. Uh, it's fantastic because I have a credit card. It's, uh, it's their debit card, so it goes right. I pay my electric bill right from my USDT. I did split my USDT, uh, my my safe um, stable coins, USDT, uh, US, uh, CDC, not CDC, USDC and uh, into LTC as well, into Litecoin. Because I didn't want to have the risk of all that cash sitting just in one stable card. That makes sense. All right, so uh, the next videos are going to be, we're going to go over the price and where I think um, Bitcoin's going to go. And we're going to look at futures a little bit and explain how that goes from how that drives some of the price in crypto and at different times of the month, the day and the time and the, and, uh, the week. And then also um, we'll do a separate video for those who are not interested or just or, or want to learn how I actually set up my charts, how I find where target is where my target price is going to be and all that. Uh, I'll have a separate video on that. So that's where we're going we're to diverge off. So we'll have more what's going on. In the market and then learning how we can find this stuff use the tools and then come back and get in there all right so uh, be safe if you live in florida please be safe uh this is a nasty hurricane it's a cat four coming in and we the plinza is on the dirty side of the hurricane so do be careful guys lots of means a lot of tornadoes a lot of high winds uh and if you're in tampa get out um all right be safe be profitable as much as you can and we'll go from there.